So we're gonna we're gonna we're going to start by looking at the way photography learned to be photography. And and we're going to focus on for our first assignment Yosef Sudek. Because he's a he's a fascinating story. Don't know if I can if I get this to go full screen. You're going to have to tell me if you see this thing change. Okay. So here's here's Yosef Sudek. All right. Did you see that? Did that change for you, the screen? Okay. Awesome. Stop it. All right. Let me go back here. Okay. There's Yosef Sudek. So Sudek was born in, um, in Prague, in Czechoslovakia, but it wasn't Czechoslovakia yet. It was part of the, uh, the, the Ottoman Empire. And he was a he was a, an apprentice bookbinder. All right, so back in the olden days, when you made books, you had to you would print out the pages, you'd have to fold them, sew them together, and then and then physically, you know, stitch and put put everything together. And and bookbinding was an important job. And and Sudek was was drafted into his his military uh, in the late 19 teens. And was 18 or 19 years old and um, uh, lost his right arm uh, through an you know from a, an artillery shell and 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 surgery and everything took his arm off really just clean right to his shoulder so he had he had he had really nothing to work work with so as and he's a, he's a, a a young kid he's 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 just just turned 20 years old right around you know around that age and bookbinding is something he is not going to be able to do anymore. And and he's also got this really long-term serious physical recovery in front of him. And he has a long emotional and psychological recovery in front of him. And and it was suggested to him because he had had a passing interest in photography earlier that he take up photography again as a way to just stay busy and he found it was something he could do it was something he could do really well with one arm he could pick the camera up and carry it and set the tripod down and because the fascinating thing is because of this technology because it was so slow and it was so so straightforward in its approach having only one arm was 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 not disabling at all as a photographer so he could set the camera up put the hood over his head focus the camera now what he's doing there is setting he's setting the shutter speed which is right on the lens on this camera he's, so he's setting the shutter he's setting the aperture and then there's a plate don't have anything yet. it's like a like a big wooden card and and that there's film inside it and you drop you, you drop this card into the camera and then there's a dark slide you pull out of the way. Click the shutter, take your picture, you put the dark slide back in. Then the whole cartridge comes out, you turn it around, drop it back in, and you can do a second shot. So, Sudek focused his, his entire being on, on becoming a photographer. Alright, I'm going to have to do this this way. His early photographs were these still lifes. I showed you a couple earlier on this heavy wooden table simple really um, traditional types of still lifes with with you know bread and wine and eggs and water and 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 just this this whole simple approach to the things that keep people alive and the things of, of everyday of everyday life you know this this really crusty earthy bread on this on this really heavily textured table and the the neat thing about his photographs is that he really focused on the same subject matter this is out of sequence Sorry, I'm going to keep going here so he, he kept focusing on this on this on the same subject matter a lot of his photographs were taken on this table light came through the kitchen window and so he was able to have different kinds of light he's got the slice of melon empty uh, water bottle you can see the beautiful condensation on the glass 
So it was cold inside before he drank it. But he did a lot of still lifes in his in his studio. Um, I'll show you a picture of what his studio looked like. There's, it's coming up a little bit, but it was it was just full of clutter, and he had mirrors and pieces of frosted glass and old picture frames and plates and wine glasses and 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 marbles and all sorts of stuff that he would just set up in these arrangements and photograph them and study the way the light moved through and around them and then took that idea out into the community this was a church that was was being um, repaired and so it's dusty inside and you can see the the late afternoon sunlight coming through the windows creating these crepuscular rays these sun rays coming through and so everything that that Sudek did became about these kind of meditative still lifes this is just such a for for I I find it to be a stunning photograph. It it, in a lot of ways is like uh, Eugene Auger. It's it's got this little slight off balance. It's kind of kind of um, off kilter arrangement with the the roses in a glass of water in front of a. a window with condensation on it could be early morning condensation cold weather the shell just a simple simple still life and then his outdoor photographs are, are exactly the same you have these oblique angles like Ajay used this one at night just from the, the lights of the city Yes. That was weird. Okay. In your first assignment, I'm going to be asking you to channel Yosef Sudek, channel Minor White. And see, okay. Let me let me stop for a moment. Isn't this great? So this is like almost the same photograph as the one that had the roses in it, except it's got this this wooden bowl with the with the egg in it. But it's on the on the same windowsill, same window. The light's different, but but two really different and remarkable photographs, gorgeous photographs, taken really in the same place. All right, there, but in different at different times. But I'm going to have you just just work around where you live and create some photographs. And you can create photographs any time of day or night. And there are specific things I'm going to have you look for and address in your photographs. Ooh, snow, yay! See how beautiful that is? Snow in black and white photographs. Look at tell you tell me that's not absolutely stunning. You can't do that in the summer first of all trees have leaves so you don't get the, you don't get the architecture and i mean I, there, there, there's i don't see any trees in this photograph but but the snow on the on those on those tile roofs i mean how stunning that is and this one there's snow on the ground and and condensation on the on the glass just just absolutely beautiful a little bit of uh light snow or fog isn't that beautiful the fog in that photo so we're getting to we're getting to the time right now where where seasons are changing. I'm sorry, Rosie, but seasons are changing. You got. I'll give you. I'll give. I'll give you two weeks of summer. Right? Okay. Um. It gets really cold overnight. You know, we're going to start getting temperatures in the 40s now. That I mean, the temperatures have been in the 50s and 60s overnight, but now we're going to get them in the 40s, and it's going to get warm during the day. But you're going to start to get condensation on windows. You're going to start to see fog in the morning. Don't not take advantage of that when the opportunity comes by. Take your camera when you go places. You're going to find photographs that that you would be very sorry you didn't have your camera if you didn't have your camera. That didn't make any sense. The thing to remember is 
you're gonna you're gonna see photographs and you're gonna and, and you're gonna oh I, I don't have my camera I gotta go back and, and you, you're never gonna go back I'm telling you right now you will not go back and if you do go back it will not be the same so you have to have your camera with you so this is this is Sudex Studio little wire sculptures that he was working on clothing on the linens on the line spring busting out just just beautiful photos and there's there's that 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 lovely light through the the lace curtain so this first assignment you're going to be come Sudek. this is this is his uh the desk in his office it's just absolutely i'm going to zoom in here look at that isn't that awesome Oop. no 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 and what what I I love the most about this, so I love the little little painting of the Madonna right there, the Madonna and child. But the best part about it is, look, he's got a little spot for his 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 coffee cup. Isn't that great? All that mess. There's a, there's a little spot for him to work every day. And I just I just think that's that's totally awesome. It also reminds me of what. That's what the inside of my head looks like on most days, to tell you the truth. So we're going to channel Sudek. And I've got all these slides loaded up uh, in um, Blackboard. Wow, it didn't want to come. So you can you can load these up and you can take a look at the slides here on and and I've got the actual um, assignment sheet which I think I'm gonna let me see if I can find this real quickly here and then I'll get this up and we'll go through it real quick and then we'll be done S U D E K there it be okay. So let me come back to you. And did that quit? I'm, I'm having all right. My PDF viewer is quitting on me. So I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna do. Have to do this another way. Give me a second. I have to get into Google Drive here and open it up. And I'll just share the web page. There we go. Okay. Uh, share screen. I oh, know. I'm saying the quiet parts out loud. Share screen. Look for things. Okay. So here's the here's the assignment. And we'll call it photography as visual poetry because apparently that's what it's called. Feel free to take the instructions in this assignment as a jumping off point. All right, feel free to model this for yourself. So we're kind of going to focus on on Yosef Sudek, but you focus on any of the photographers whose work we looked at. Now I've got the. Um, I think that that seeing seeing the light, seeing the photograph, the other one that had Tina Madotti and uh, Eugene Ajay, that's That's also that should also be hyperlinked through Blackboard. If it's not, I'll do that as soon as we're done here tonight. So you can take a look at those slides also. But I want you to create a series of photographs with with a certain set of parameters. The first set of photographs I want you to look at now a series, a set of photographs by definition is more than one and I want you to take some photographs in 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 the the, the room where you sleep at night and and the idea is that we're taking a look at, at the familiar we're taking a look at the stuff that we see every day and we're looking for the interesting aspects of it visually so Take a look at the you know the quality quality of the light in the in the evening in the morning. That's when we're usually there, right? 
We're usually there in the morning when we get up and we're there in the evening. So take a look at, at, at morning, even, even late afternoon, evening, and, and look for interesting photographs in the room where you sleep. The second part of this assignment is a series of photographs taken any, in any other part of the house, any other part of your home. And pay attention, I mean, any, any time of day. This says, this says afternoon, but any time of day. Just, just you know, look at, I mean, right now, uh, sunrise is later. Now, sunrise isn't until, like, way after 6, 6.30-ish. And sunset is right around 6.30 right now. Right? Yeah, that sounds about right, because we're, we're heading towards the equinox. When summer is officially over. <laughs> Sorry, um, but look, you know, you get long shadows and you'll get really interesting light that time of day. And then the third part is 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 around the outside of where you live. Now, now around the outside is where you can p play fast and loose. It doesn't have to be within ten feet of the building or within on your property. It could be your neighborhood, could be your town. So anything around where you live. So the three the the three aspects of this are, are 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 the room where you sleep, the home in which you live, the area in which your home exists. So we take it little, get a little bigger, a little bit bigger. We're looking at the familiar and trying to make the familiar visually interesting, and then and then we're going to show that to the world. Now the this says to return two photos from each category printed for six by nine with full frame. Don't worry about that part, but I think that the two photos from, from each category is what we will ultimately be returning for the assignment. Now, I have the uh, due date listed as September 30th. I'm going to leave it there and see where we're, where we're at. 